you know, a college education could send a lot of students and their families into dangerous debt if they are not careful. Rob Franick is uh, with the Princeton Review here to dispense some academic, but mostly some financial advice. He's an author of books, including the best 380 colleges. Yes, that had to be exhausting. <laughs> and colleges that pay you back. What do you mean by colleges that pay you back? We focused on college ROI. Is the school actually going to be a great return on your investment yeah. for your tuition dollars? Okay, and, and one of the things that, because there's money out there to be had. Absolutely. There's money out there to be borrowed, and that right. frequently is the easiest way to get it instead of actually working for it. it. It is. What we've been telling our students at Princeton Review is your job as a high school student is to do awesome academic work in high school and two, to do superlative work on the SAT and ACT scores because those will unlock not only academic admission but lots of merit-based scholarships right. for those students when they get into school. Do you recommend that kids take both the SAT and the ACT? I, I can tell you in our case, our kids took the SAT, which was required. Right. The ACT was accepted. They both did much better on the ACT, and different kids will do better on different tests. You, you have it exactly, and we've seen the same thing at Princeton Review. I, I mean, we say take a full-length practice test for the SAT and the ACT, see where you do better, and then you can prep for that exam. Do you recommend taking uh, some of the, and some of them are very expensive, yeah. these prep courses. I know you, you offer some as well online, but uh, some of these are thousands of dollars. Yeah, I mean, I, I, we, I've been a test prep teacher for a long time for Princeton Review, uh, and there's so many different ways you can do it. You can do it online, you can do it in person, you can do it one-on-one -on -one tutoring, and there are different price levels for each of those things. But the dramatic improvement, I mean, we're 180 point score improvement on the SAT just, right. just for coming to class and doing, doing the basic work. So there, it changes not only the scholarship dollars, but the schools that you can get into as well. Right. Yeah. Uh, a lot of kids want to go to the same colleges. You, know, you right. talk to the very top students at any school and it'll be, well, Harvard, MIT, Stanford, you know, the, the, the same schools. Yeah. That may not be the right school for your kid or even for a top for a top student. You're, you're, you're so right. And I so think that students and families have to focus on finding fit. That's academics, fit, campus culture, financial aid, career services. You have to think about all those things to see if you're going to be happy and engaged. You, you might have to take on some debt. And yep. you do have a rule of thumb, which I think is very wise. OK, good. <laughs> on the rule, and what is that? It's the rule of thumb that you, you shouldn't take on more debt than the average starting salary of the profession that you're going to move into. Okay. So if, if you're $40,000 and you're going to be a high school teacher, and that's the average starting salary, you should Never take on more debt than that. Mm -hmm. Now there might be different price tolerance for a chemical engineering major, a computer science major, and those are things you have to work out with your family. But to be wise early on in the college process, and it, those it, you have a list of what you call bargain colleges. Yeah. Show some of the University of Houston, uh, uh, public college, not all public colleges. University of Houston, uh, some some rough numbers there. UT Dallas, Southwestern University down in Georgetown, which is a great small liberal arts school. Absolutely. And in terms of being a private school, pretty affordable. It is absolutely affordable. And Southwestern is a big, we're big fans of it at Princeton Review. And when you think about the sticker price, it might be high. Some people might cross that school off of their right. list, but not doing the due diligence and finding out the real dollars that you're going to get from merit-based aid, right. bringing it down to somewhat more of a viable number. To very close to what you pay at a public university. You have it exactly. All right, we have uh, more information. Uh, look at uh, uh, that, uh, that list of uh, affordable colleges and universities here in Texas, and a link to the Princeton Review. View on fox4news.com. Thanks as always. Good to be here.